Hi guys, I'm climbing through the pumpkin patch here. Hey, today we're making homemade pumpkin puree for those of you that want to know how to make it from scratch. And we're going to be using these little baby sugar pumpkins for the best flavor. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm going to show you how to do it right after this. All right, guys, you're going to find that this recipe is really simple. All you need are pumpkins. And, and I recommend using the sugar pumpkins because they're, they have the most flavor. They're sweeter, you know, as opposed to using the big pumpkins that we use to carve with. These are really the ones you want to use, okay? So the hardest part of this recipe is going to be cutting this in half. That's the challenge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just try and slice off the top here and be really, really careful when you do this. Once you get a nice flat surface so that it'll sit pretty, pretty level, you're gonna to wanna to cut this in half. So I'm just gonna start with a cut like that. And you're gonna to wanna to rock your knife back and forth until you get there. And now we're gonna scoop out all the seeds. Now you wanna hang on to those seeds, seeds because we're gonna go ahead and roast those, or you can roast them in the oven later on. All right, once we get all the slimy stuff out, we're ready to place these on our tray. So we're placing these on the tray, cut side down, and they're gonna go in the oven. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees, and it's gonna take anywhere from, you know, 45 minutes to an hour and 15 minutes. It just depends. So the best test is taking a fork and piercing it to make sure that it's nice and tender, uh, and that's how you know it's done. While the pumpkin is roasting in the oven, don't forget to click the subscribe button right here. That way you'll never miss a video. Now, what else we're gonna do is we are gonna take our seeds here, our pumpkin seeds, because we don't wanna waste them and throw them away. Well, I'm gonna separate them in a colander here and I'm gonna run it under water and separate the pulp from the seeds. And then we can use that to roast in the oven. But what I like to do is to soak them first for eight to 24 hours with some salt water. That will help release the enzyme inhibitors and the phytic acid in the seed. And that'll make the vitamins much more available to us and they'll make the seeds themselves much easier to digest. All right, our pumpkins are done. It's been about 45 minutes and I tested them at about 40 just to see where they were at and it was good. But I wanna show you when you stick your fork in, it goes in easily, very much like a baked potato, let's say. So that's what you're looking for. So what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna let these cool. Look at that. You can see the caramelization that you're getting on the pumpkin. That's gonna add some really great flavor to your pumpkin. Uh, we're going to let this cool until I can, you know, it's cool enough just so that I can place it into my blender. Now I'm going to use a blender. You could use a food processor for this or a hand masher. It doesn't really matter. It all works good. So as soon as these cool off, I'll show you the next step. All right, the pumpkin is cooled off. I let it sit out and actually had it outside where it's cooler for, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. Just, just cool enough so that I can still handle it and it's still warm, okay? So you're just going to scoop it into your blender or you know, your food processor. Now we'll just blend this up and we'll have ourselves some beautiful pumpkin puree. All right guys, look at this beautiful stuff here. Just gorgeous, nice and thick. Like I said, it's the way to go. So I'm going to let this cool down completely and then you can use it right away if you want or you can put it in the refrigerator. It'll keep a couple of weeks in there or you can freeze it and I tell you it's in there for months and months. So I like to put it in Ziploc bags. Um, you can put it in there and you know the portions that you think you might need like maybe one cup portions. That's what I like to do and uh, just you know I'm going to pour mine into the bag, lay it flat, take the air out of it and then that way they'll stack on top of each other and be, you know, really easy to store that way. All right, I'm gonna sneak a taste here, guys. Oh man. That pumpkin puree tastes amazing. It's got that roasted flavor to it and it, it is gonna make any of your recipes taste like way better. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Phil's Dills, this one is for you. I know you like to use uh, homemade pumpkin pu puree and, and so here you go. Anyway, guys, 
Uh, I have a lot of recipes for you for pumpkin, so you can use this recipe for it instead of using the canned stuff. I'll leave links for you down below. I've got things like, you know, uh, pumpkin peanut butter cups. I've got pumpkin macarons. I have pumpkin smoothies, pumpkin pie, you name it. I got quite a few. So check that out in the description below this video. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you click that button and you won't miss a video. All right, and leave me a comment. Let me know if you've ever made pumpkin puree uh, before from scratch and, and how do you use it in your recipes? You know, what do you, what do you make with it? All right, guys, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time with another delicious recipe.